Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Elder Scrolls Online news video with me, Sherman. Today guys, we're going to be talking about 5.0.4 PTS patch notes for Elsewhere in Update 22. Um, they've continued to make some adjustments to Dragons in the Sunspire Trial and have a, a few additional fixes for combat abilities. Note, we've performed another character copy this patch, <clears throat> this time to PC North America. Characters to further test some fixes before we launch next week. The final patch is approximately 1.95 gigs in size. Thank you for your all your testing and feedback. It's been an invaluable resource. Awesome. Alright, moving on. So, Necromancer got some fixes. Blast Bones fixed an issue where the skeletons summoned from this ability in its Mars could proc item sets conditionals such as Vicious Serpent when it died from exiting combat. All right. Reusable part fixed an issue where this passive was causing your necromancer summons to briefly interrupt your abilities cast when they died. Bone Tyrant, Bitter Harvest, Dead in Pain fixed an issue where the major protection granted for this ability would end too quickly. Okay. And then Death Side. The side's model from this ability in its morphs no longer has extraneous handles. And, okay. Dragons fixed an issue if you were beyond the range of, of other players fighting the dragons health would become Desynced fixed an issue where dragons did not animate when speaking at great distances Dragons now respawn faster after their defeat fixed an issue where some dragon attacks could not be seen at a distance fixed an issue where the flame worms failed to spawn in some locations Fixed an issue where dragons could fail to animate important attacks for players joining an encounter in progress. Dragon abilities. Fixed an issue where the unrelenting force appeared to be aimed into the ground. Fixed an issue where the dragons could become unavailable for combat on the ground after this, a strafing run. Fixed an issue where unrelenting force was not visible in the death recap. And fixed an issue where Dragon's Fury's aura would not be displayed while it was active. <clears throat> All right. Dungeons and group content. So Sunspire Trial had some adjustments. Sunspire Archers will no longer use NPC necromatic synergies. That's cool. Uh, renamed Jones Gale Claw to Jones Firefang. Made several changes to the abilities of all three dragons. Bite, Snap, and Breath attacks now have wider arcs in which they can be cast. Breath attacks can no longer be avoided by standing closer to the dragon. Breath attacks are now slightly wider and larger. Breath attacks that have a range will no longer target enemies out of range. Fixed an issue when dragon breath attacks would not track their targets correctly. Alright, so Yolnokrin? Yolnokrin? Flame Actronox now correctly do damage with their flare ability. <clears throat> the... Flame Actronox no longer display blue explosions when they die and are not blue shifted. Flame Actronox will no longer use blue fire effects when they shouldn't. And at the Flame Actronox Lava Geyser ability will no longer deal damage if the caster dies before the effect completes. Okay. So some some, some good good adjustments to the, the Yol, Yolnokrin uh, encounter. Uh, local zits or lock, lock, as it, I don't know, lock, still, stits, lock stits, I guess. Storm breath will no now always display the correct animation. Their frost breath is no longer interrupted by storm astronox spawning it, and frost astronox will now correctly take damage from multiple shock traps if they tar they trigger at the same time. Okay, Nalventus. Vigil statues will now remain in combat even if the only living players are the Time Breach. Battle Fury is now more powerful in hard mode. Ugh. Eternal Servant is now always reset when the fight does. Alright. I'm gonna sk skip over all that because that is stuff we're not allowed to talk about. Because it is still under NDA. Or because they haven't lifted it. Nightblade, Combat and Abilities, Assassination, Incapacitating Strikes, the silence from this ability can now be CC broken 
and cannot be activated on targets who are already affected by a CC effect. Note that this change is exclusive to in incapacitating strikes and will not apply to other silences such as negate magic since those are area effect based pulsing durations versus instantaneous duration based effects. Okay, I get what they're saying. Mainly because this one is an instantaneous single target hit, it can be CC break. But since negate magic is an area of effect that pulses, it can't be. I get it. Templar, restoring light, repentance. This morph will now gray out and become unable to cast if there are no corpses around you. Finally. Do you know how many times I've hit this ability when I, there was no corpses around? A lot. Alliance War, support. Guard, fixed an issue where al allies who are were affected by the guard beam could die if the caster of this ability died. Itemization and item sets. Dama House, uh, fixed an issue where the damage from this could set could not hit dragons. I didn't know that. Fixed an issue where the Grave Robber synergy from Boneyard and its morphs could not trigger this item set. I didn't know that either. Because here's the thing you have to understand. There's a lot of things on here we, a lot of us won't know because we don't test with them all the time. Like, I didn't test Dama House and Aniraneth this update, so I wouldn't have known this. Just letting you guys know. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Trials, Hellrise Citadel. You can no longer interact with the Yokadin Rock's Dun Gates gate, thus preventing him from spawning. Ooh, that's a nice fix. I'm just looking to see if there's anything else really to talk about. Not really. Not really. Not until next week. Because the rest of it's just fixes for different things. And I, I do want to talk a little bit about something here because I'm glad that the devs are, are taking their time with this update to, to see how all the things that they're doing to the game are changing the game. And they're, they're really focusing on this idea of like, okay, we've already have done all these things. What can we do to make them, you know, work the way we intended? Because that's what you got to remember. These guys built the game to have certain intended um, tools and certain intended effects. And when you alter those tools and effects, it alters how the game works. So, and how abilities works, like they did with the incapacitating strikes, like making it a, a CC breakable silence actually is a good thing. But at the same time, it's a negative thing because that means that it's not as effective as it could be, but it still does the job it needs to, if, it, if, it, if you can land it. So I really like how they do that. I like how they go in and they, they adjust things based on their effectiveness and like if they if they know it's going to be too powerful, they want to see how powerful it will be, and how people will take advantage of it, and then they can reduce it based on that. So, but that is it for this patch notes, guys. And you know what's coming next. If you like this video, you can hit that like button. If you guys want to see more videos by me, you can subscribe. Other than that, I want to thank you all for watching. Until next time, have a wonderful day. And this guy might see you in game. Bye.